try to find the same thing. There's a cable game. Um, it's often said that Canadians are humorless. <laughs> <laughs> So next, I knew that was a bad idea, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's not true. It was going to be worse, actually. Um, so next up, uh, we have John. So if you come up and say a word. So many people have made so much effort to be here today. For my part on the groom side, I'm particularly pleased that there are representatives of just about every stage of what has been a fairly peripatetic life. A vast number of Beasley Murrays are here. More about them later. Some are very young and excited. It was very lovely to have my niece Jemima join the wedding party. And others are rather older but just as excited, or perhaps more so. Of my friends, let me just indicate quickly those who've come a distance to be here. Charles, an old school friend from Manchester, who is now, after many twists and turns, you may want to ask my mother the story of the green pillowcases, a fixture at all Beasley Murray gatherings. Evelyn, who I met at a hostel in Costa Rica when I was traveling between school and university. Then from my undergraduate days, Cressida, Gavin, 
Judith, from my time in North Carolina, Alessandro, Friar, Marta, Tracy, from Aberdeen, the merry duo of Philip and Jeremy, and in from Edmonton, my more recent friends, Terry and Eddie. It's all the more delightful that some of you have brought some or all of your families. These and my Vancouver-based friends are all simply magnificent people. I'm so happy that you're here, that you can share in this occasion, and it's been great to spend time with those who've been visiting, to have you meet or meet again, Fiona, Sophie, Theo, and young David and Iron. It's been fantastic that you've met and mingled with so many of Fiona's family and friends. Obviously, there are plenty of other, uh, of other friends who, for one reason or another, cannot be here. At the risk of being perniciously selective, I do want to mention three who are in my thoughts above all right now. Uh, Jeanette, as mentioned, who cannot travel as she's going through a rather tough time. And also Jauma and Catherine, both of whom were especially good to me when I was going through a difficult time myself a couple of years ago. <coughs> I want to single out one more person who is here for making this entire event possible. Perhaps first and foremost, I need to thank my old friend, Marta Hernandez. Without her, none of this would ever have happened. For it was Marta who almost two years ago told me in Massachusetts the boys were winking at her, but nothing happened. What? I ask. Match, she replies. Match. Online dating. Show me, I say. And foolishly, she lets me look at her profile page. But Marta, I point out, your pictures are awful. <laughs> and what's this under your interests? Inline skating? Yes? Marta, do you even know what inline skating is? <laughs> no, she replies. But all the other girls have these sporty interests. And I didn't want to feel left out. So when, some months later, I first catch sight of Fiona's profile, going at that time under the pseudonym of Molly Mao, <laughs> sexy single in Burnaby, <laughs> And I see photos that make her look like a particularly sickly troglodyte <laughs> on a bad day. And that under her interests, she has listed hiking, paragliding, competitive triathlon. I figure I understand the genre. <laughs> I also do need to thank Team John. This is the upstanding group who advised me on self-presentation, shared their astute, if sometimes rather scathing, observations about my prospects, and generally laughed at my pratfalls and embarrassing predicaments. Fabiola Basso, Alejandro Bronfman, Alexander Dawson, Gaston Gordillo, uh, John Jablonski, who sadly cannot be here today, and Terry Tomsky all had much amusement at my expense. When I first met Fiona, I excitedly reported back to them, two thumbs up, no, three thumbs up, perhaps four. But this did not satisfy them. Alec, I think it was, who first soberly replied, but we require a more detailed report. <laughs> And Fabi, a little more insistently, in all caps, and with four exclamation marks, yes, details, we need details. <laughs> now, Team John, it's time you stand down. No more details. Your mission is over. Yours is a job. Well done. 